Hey, while you're in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like, and subscribe. Here doing this is a freak show i shouldn't be seeing our sisters walking around showing off their body it's shameful and these women these grown women are allowing it and these older men they come mm, man i show sure up perverts this is whoredom it's disgusting god is not dealing with that god is gonna bring judgment in chicago he's already doing it He's already doing, he hates this. So we are here to rebuke our sisters that sit in their daughters to, to, to show them how to twerk in the Bob Billiger parade. Because that's what you women were doing. Y'all sent y'all daughters out here to teach them how to twerk. That's what y'all did. Y'all should be ashamed of y'all selves, sisters. Read it again. Thou shalt not hate thy brother and thine heart. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor and not suffer sin upon him. So us standing up manfully is telling you, hey, look, don't show your daughters how to be prostitutes. They should not be out here wearing short skirts and booty shorts twerking in a parade. That is ungodly, that is unbecoming of a woman. You are supposed to be the, 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 the subject, of the standard of a woman. The other nation is supposed to look at you and be like, you know what, they show themselves to be wise. I wanna be like them. Give me that in Deuteronomy. Hey, how you doing, sis? Sis, sis, come here. Come here, sis. Let me ask you a question, sis. Let me ask you a question. What's your nationality, sis? African American. All right? So I'm going to tell you right now, that's not your true nationality. That's what your slave master told your forefathers and foremothers, and you just repeated it. Right. You're actually from the nation of Israel, the mightiest nation on earth. Give me 76 first. The mightiest nation on earth. You have to know that. Because you knowing that, you carry yourself as such. But right now, you acting and dressing like an African-American. But I want to show you how to dress and act like an Israelite woman. That's more honorable. That shows more respect for everybody, including yourself. Because you're more precious than an African-American. There's no power in an African-American. That's the name of two white men. But Israel is the name of God that he gave his children. The black God. And that's who, Father, you are. And that's who you are. Read it. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7, verse 6. For thou art an holy people. Hold on, says, listen. For thou art an holy people. You are a holy sister. Read. Unto the Lord thy God. Unto God. Read. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. So you got to be special, sis. Being special is putting on a dress, covering your body. Not walking around here showing off your body till everyone can see and lust after you. That's not honorable, sis. You understand that? Because, look, when you go buy a piece of candy, doesn't it have a wrapper on it? You don't go buy a piece of candy and doesn't have a wrapper, right? It's covered for a reason, right? Because it's only for that one particular person that buys it. So you want a man to come marry you covered up. So when he sees you, he sees him by himself. Right. Not for the whole world to see. That's right. These brothers shouldn't be able to look at you and be like, mm, I give it to him. They shouldn't be able to say that. Why? Because you covered up. Give me Deuteronomy 22 and 5. And then we're going to show these brothers how to be men towards the sisters. Because they're not supposed to be looking at you and lusting. You're not supposed to be advertising yourself to these men either. Because you're what? You're, you're special. You're special. When you're special, you treat yourself as special. Nobody should be able to look after you and lust after you. No man should be able to do that. Read. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 22 and verse 5. The woman. The who? The woman. What's your name, sis? Whisper. 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 This is for you. The woman. Whisper. Shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. So you shouldn't put on shorts pants, any of those things. A woman wears a dress or a skirt. 
long and floppy, where it doesn't show off her curves. It's not tight and revealing. That's how you be special. That's how you become a, a, a princess of the Most High God. It's when you hold yourself with some dignity and pride and be like, you know what? I'm not advertising myself to these men so they can lust after me and try to holler at me, make me feel less than a woman. You are the standard of beauty. That's right. The other nations, they go get shots in their lips, shots in their hips, trying to look like you. But you, in return, try to look like them. They bring you down to make you feel like you're not special, but you are special. We need the older sisters to teach the young sisters how to be women. Because the Bud Billica Parade, all I saw was women showing their daughters how to twerk, how to shake their tail. Training them up to be strippers. That's what I saw. Right. And then I saw our young brothers walking around with guns looking for the ops. This is a market for crime. This is a market for whoredom. Every year is like this. That's why we come out here to stand up against it. And we need you, mom, to stand up against it too. So you can show her how to properly dress. When you go to a public restroom, if it doesn't have a woman or man on it, how do you know to go to the woman's washroom? It has a silhouette of a woman wearing what? A dress. So it's common knowledge that women wear dresses, not short dresses, not little tight short dresses, but long flowy dresses. Read it again. The woman shall not wear that which pertained unto a man. So a woman should not be wearing pants or short shorts. That's called whoredom. Read. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. And you men don't be putting on no dresses. Be men. Read. For all that do so. For everybody that don't want to be a princess. Read. For all that do so are abomination. That means God is disgusted with you. Get away from me. I don't know you. You don't want to hear God say that at the end of the day. Well, if he say, get away from me, I never knew you, that means you was wearing up some pants all your life. Our foremothers, when they got off the slave ships, they didn't wear pants. Prior to the slave ships, they never wore pants. They didn't start wearing pants until the 50s and 60s. Because a white woman said, hey, we can do what men do. Come join us. Don't fight for the liberation of your people no more, black woman. Come fight for women with liberation. You didn't have no, you had no dog in that fight, but you went and followed. Why? Because they were showing separation then. They separated the black man and the black woman, and look at the results of it. Look at the results of it, mom. Look what our daughters is out here doing. This is a freak show. I shouldn't be seeing our sisters walking around showing off their body. It's shameful. And these women, these grown women are allowing it. And these older men, they come, hmm, man, I sure will. Perverts. This is whoredom. It's disgusting. God is not dealing with that. God is going to bring judgment in Chicago. He's already doing it. He's already doing it. He hates this. Read it again, bro. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. So a woman shouldn't be wearing pants and a man shouldn't be wearing a dress. Let me show you what the women supposed to be doing. Give me Titus chapter 2. Right Titus now. chapter 2 verse 3. The book of Titus chapter 2 verse 3. The aged woman likewise. The aged woman. Meaning the older woman. This is for you, mama. Read. The aged woman likewise. That they be in behavior. Be in behavior. That is a mindset. Be in behavior. As it becometh holiness. They have to be holy. Holy means to separate yourself from this wickedness. Separate yourself from the norms of the world. This is carnal, devilish behavior. Did you know Bud Billiken is a Chinese deity? It's idolatry. You out here celebrating another god. And you shaking your tail feather while you doing it. The brothers is out here with guns ready to shoot up their ops. Y'all don't see that? I guess the only reason why a lot of death have it came is because we standing right here right now. Give me that in Proverbs 16, verse 14. Let me show you that. The reason why ain't nobody shot nothing up is because we out here. 
or whoa once we leave. You better not be around once we leave. Right. Because now the angels of death might come. Right. He might send those spirits of vengeance to come through. So be mindful. Read. Proverbs but chapter 16 and verse 14. The wrath of a king is as a messenger of death. Read it again. The wrath of a king is as messengers of death. But a wise man will pacify it. That's what we're out here doing. We're pacifying the messengers of death. What? That's those spirits that are made for vengeance. We're out here speaking the laws of God, pacifying that wrath. God, don't do it. Don't do it. Give your people a chance. But if they don't listen, guess what? He told us to dust off our feet. Right. Dust off our feet. We did our job. Whatever happens after we leave, it's on you. So you got to choose ye life or death today. That's right. You got to cast down Bob Billiken. Cast down this whoredom. Don't let your daughters come out with short dresses on. And don't let them come out here with booty shorts shaking their tail in a parade talking about this is for back to school. Because it's not. Go back to um, Titus. Titus chapter 2 verse 4, verse 3. The aged woman likewise, that they be in behavior as becoming holiness, not false accusers. Not false accusers. A lot of our sisters be lying. Let's get back to the men. Read verse 1. Verse 1. But speak thou the tidy, the things which become in sound doctrine. Hey, my brother, can I ask you a question that's walking past? Can I ask you a question, bro? See, see, that's the problem, man. You know what? Back in the days, back in the 60s and the 70s, when Fred Hampton them was walking the streets, our brothers had a little more pride about themselves. These brothers today, they don't care about nothing but themselves. A lot of you older men are the problem yourself. You need to look in the mirror and ask yourself, am I really a man? Some of you men should be ashamed of yourselves. The reason why y'all out here is so y'all can look at some of these young girls and lust after them. Yeah. You damn perverts. Bring it out. See. I digress, but I'm back. Read. Verse 2. The aged man. The aged man. Be sober. Be sober. Don't be out here getting drunk and high. Out here perverting looking at these young girls. Stand up for your community. Stand up against violence. Stand up against this drill rap. How about you provide solutions in the community? We, the, the age man, be sober, great, temperate. You got to be serious and be in control of your spirit. Be serious out here about something. A lot of these men want to be women. We, if the age man be sober, great. And be, that the aged man be sober, great, temperate, sound in faith, and charity, and patience. The aged woman likewise, that they be in behavior as becoming holiness. So you got to be in behavior come on holiness. When we speak up against evil, we're not afraid of nothing or nobody. That's right. That's right. You understand that? Because we come standing boldly for the most high in his words. That's right. You need to repent or die. That's what's going to happen to a lot of y'all if y'all don't repent and keep God's laws. What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example. Nation 